guys welcome back so have you guys seen the thread on tiktok about the phase where you start hating your girlfriend the phase where you slowly start hating your girlfriend is crazy y'all this tweet has 142,000 likes and the replies to this tweet is even more insane when you can't let go because you haven't found her replacement yet when the problem asks you what the problem is when you open a text thinking it's from the woman you actually want, but it's from her. When you're about to drop her off at her place, but she decides to stay an extra week. Me praying she sees this threat so she can break up with me herself. Y'all, if you're not happy in a relationship, then why are you still in that relationship? It will never make sense to me. Like, just break up with them if you're not feeling that spark with them anymore. I just don't understand. Um... If you've not seen it, it's very eye-opening. I feel like you should read it. Like, go on Twitter after watching this video and go and read all of that. Or TikTok has a few clips and snippets of um, the thread. So I'm going to be sharing a few clips of that. And I'm going to come back and share my thoughts on the whole situation. Okay, so let's get into the video. This tweet just went viral on X about men hating their girlfriends. This guy says, that phase where you slowly start hating your girlfriend is crazy. Ladies, I've been saying this for forever. You have to be very careful about this girlfriend term because men will hate your guts and stay in the relationship. Why? Because he gets to use your body. You know the saying, men will bleep a hole in the wall. So he literally doesn't like you. You're in this, you're obsessed with him, you like him, you're thinking about marriage, maybe kids, you're designing your wedding. The guy doesn't like you, he's just using your body for now until he can upgrade from you. So if you want marriage, be very careful about hopping into this girlfriend thing. This guy, he also gets 107,000 likes from other men who apparently relate to this phase of hating their girlfriend. So this is apparently some common thing going on in the modern male. Careful, because men will use you to upgrade themselves. Let me say that again. Men will use you for the time being until they can upgrade, and then they'll leave you in the dust and they won't care at all. You better be careful about who you give your time to. So we've all seen this tweet right here, right? So I was in an Uber earlier this week, I think Monday, and basically we're having a conversation about men and why they do certain things that they do and how is it the narcissist at some point, whatnot, whatnot. He then tells me how he's been with his girlfriend for six years, they have a child together, and he absolutely hates her. He said any and every little thing, even the way sometimes she'd breathe, he'd literally be bothered and he'd get pissed off. And you know what? God bless these Uber drivers with the type of conversations we had. It was a very, like, it was a big eye opener for me as well, just in general, you know? And aside from saying men really do hate us, guys, we just need to stay single. We just need to make peace with the fact that we just need to love ourselves and no one else because these men are horrible, bro. And how do they, they even take pride in it? I don't understand. How can you take pride in being such a person? They take pride in being, like, evil beings. If you're still putting men at the center of your life, I need you to go read this Twitter thread and get your shit together. What is this? Guys, this thread... Like, I already knew that so many men actually just don't like women. Like, I don't know if it's misogyny or maybe you just like your, your bros, like you want to date your bros or whatever. Like, I knew that. But reading this thread... Let me just show you some of the tweets that some of your boyfriends are putting under this thread. Starting off strong. This is somebody's boyfriend. <laughs> like, what is this? And honestly, I know I'm laughing, but like, this is literally not funny. Like, Sorry, I don't even know why I'm laughing. This is literally not funny. I wish you guys would just grow up, be the man that you so claim that you are and have a conversation, break up with your partner, do it with your chest. Like what is all, what is this? That thread has only just confirmed that a lot of men actually just love other men. I'm sorry. They, they don't like women. Because honestly, no real man is doing this. I'm sorry.
the when I start to hate my girlfriend thread on Twitter. On National Boyfriend Day, no less. This is this is the real pandemic. The illness um, of, of dirty, musty, crusty men. That is the real pandemic at hand here. Like, even based on just, like, the stories that I've heard from other people. I'm like, when are the girlies going to escape this calamity that is dating absolutely horrid men? Based on my own experiences with the men that I then go ahead and see get into relationships, I'm thinking, how on earth are so many people in healthy relationships? And then I think to myself, how many of those relationships that people love to show off are actually healthy? I'm just shocked that the boys are actually admitting to how horrid. Like, the boys are giving us hard evidence that they are as horrid that girls have always said they were. Hard evidence. Like, this is literally what I mean when I say you gotta ask yourself, right? Like, is it your anxiety or is it your intuition? Because you might have a reason to be anxious, babe. There's currently a viral tweet on Twitter that reads, that phase where you slowly start hitting your girlfriend is so I just had this thought because I already stitched Pierre's video and someone commented, a mutual of mine, saying that, oh, this thread shows how it's difficult for men to leave. So these same men who made this comment thread saying why it's so difficult for them to just tell women up front, I don't want to be with you anymore. They can also understand why it's difficult for a woman to leave in a, a man who has emotionally abused her. Because I know for a fact, these same men will most likely tell women who are in a relationship with men who are toxic, they would say, why don't women just leave? I'm sure these are the same men. This is a circle. The Venn diagram is a circle. These same types of men would make excuses and victim blame women who don't leave men who are abusive, either physically or just emotionally, just abusive. If these men can make this comment thread saying about how men will do everything but simply tell her, I don't want to be with you. They should also be able to understand women who are unable to leave a man, who they are trauma bonded to. No need for us to give any detailed, complex explanation going through the lists. Pierre does this. Pierre has this wheel of abuse. I can't remember. The wheel has like eight different parts, it shows the different types of abuse. They wouldn't need to see that wheel. They would just automatically understand since they understand as men why they don't just tell her, I don't want to be with you no more, they'd also understand why women can't do the same. We got to stop doing intellectual labor and just like throw it back on them. Stop for a second. Just think for a second and think, okay, if they're saying this about themselves, what's something that we've always told them about women? Do less work. Think less. Reverse psychology more. Um, real quick. So someone sent me this trend that's going on, uh, started by this tweet, and I'm shook, but not really. Ladies, are you just out here dating demons? Hmm? I know that the dating pool has pee in it, but what? Brothers, are you not ashamed? Are you not embarrassed? Is, is, is this the standard? Hmm? And I know some of you are going to say, we're just joking. It's just jokes. But the crazy thing is a lot of women have actually been through some of these things that you wrote about. So are you actually joking or are you sharing notes? And also, do you even like women? Let's start there. Do you like women? Because if you're not happy, you can leave. You can actually leave. I made a video on how you can break up with someone. Not this. This is just childish. I am scarred for life. This has scarred me for life. All I'm going to say is men don't like women so much. Most men don't like women. Okay. Most men just keep women because of the things that we do for them. They like using our bodies. They like our time. And for whatever reason you know some of them even love competing with us just to prove that they can win or they are better than us and so on and so forth so many like deep-seated like hatred 
for women okay and they carry it around and they, they they use that to mistreat the women in their lives so if your man is mistreating you don't allow him leave if you've not seen that video that i made about the dark manipulative tactics that men use on women go and check it out okay at this point in time they are telling us if if you're still censoring men if you're still auditioning for them if you're still in that abusive relationship if you're still hoping and praying that he changes this is what you're supposed to be reading because they're telling you most of them don't have the balls to break up with you they don't okay they want you to do the breaking up as well so they'll keep mistreating you mishandling you you don't want to catch any stds okay so leave if that's what they want you to do just do them the favor and get out of the relationship stop centering men decenter men put the energy the focus and everything into yourself because they don't care okay people are going as far as cheating on their girlfriends with other men so yeah you want a lesson this is your lesson thank you so much for watching this video go and check that thread out and learn from it that's all i'm going to say see you tomorrow with another video and take care of yourselves bye <music>